The tragedy on 28th Street with nine dead. After a fire burned through a seedy Manhattan bathhouse and overnight hotel this morning, nine men were killed, two critically injured, and eight others hurt. The store through the top two floors of the Everard Baths. The bathhouse, which catered almost exclusively to homosexual men, was crowded with as many as 100 overnight guests. There were 135 small cubicles on the top floors that served as guest rooms. Fire... Hello, what's up? Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can find out when a new video is released. So, right now we are in the Nomad district of Manhattan, just south of Madison Square Park, just... Did I just say south? Just north of Madison Square Park and just south of Koreatown. It is an area full of fast casual restaurants, full of hotels, a lot of life. Right over there is another one of our gay sites, the Everett Baths. Now, the Everett Baths opened up in the 1880s, starting out as a Turkish bathhouse, of course, the gays come in and make it a place of their own. The Everett bathhouses become one of the most immortalized, infamous bathhouses in Manhattan. It is in literature from the period. It is in Larry Kramer's phenomenally successful and famous book, Faggots. It's in my favorite novel of all time, Andrew Holler and Stanta from The Dance. And it has an entire book written set in the bathhouse. Michael Ramaka, a day and a night in the baths. So what makes this bathhouse so famous and so special? Nothing really, but it is sleazy, it is dirty, it is grimy. You go there to have sex, have an orgy, meet people, get a massage, get high. It's completely different from the continental baths in the Upper West Side. In fact, the continental baths in the Upper West Side kind of develop as a reaction to the sort of sleazy Everett bathhouses, which is also called Everhard bathhouse in uh, popular culture. Wednesday morning of May the 25th, 1977, Everard catches fire. Nine people die that morning. Now, this fire is significant because it happens as a result of this space being gay. What do I mean by that? I mean, the building is not kept up to code. Sprinklers aren't working, windows are boarded up. It could have been avoided. One of the survivors of the fire, a guy called Michael Roan, he says that, you know, had this been a straight spa, it would have been kept up to standard. It would have been kept up to code. People wouldn't have had to die. Now, the fire is also significant because it starts to mark the end of the gay 1970s heyday. It's the beginning of tragedy. It's the first real tragedy of the time. After the fire, gay men line up to try and donate blood. Blood is something we're about to encounter a lot of as we move into the gay 1980s. I'll see you next time.